Hey everyone, this is Julian from the Binary Lab and today in this video I'm going to be talking about what kind of money management suits you. So I've been talking about um, bringing on this topic in my recent emails and here it is. And also if you've been wondering why haven't I been posting Facebook Lives because um, a lot of people have been feed giving feedback that when I do Facebook Live the sound quality is just bad. A lot of people complain about some kind of a um, some kind of a rustling sound in the background. I don't know where that comes from, but anyways, the past couple of videos that I've been posting uh, with with screen recording like this have been getting very good feedback from a lot of people, um, and also they've been mentioning the sound's been on point. Okay, so um, so what kind of money management suits you? Uh, about this topic, it depends because there are many kinds of different traders out there in the markets and and uh, you know maybe it would do me some good as well if you when you're watching this video could you comment below which type suits you all right you maybe um, I mean this this actually depends on your your risk profile okay so what is a what is a risk profile you might be wondering so basically this is something that a lot of people will tend to uh, bring up to you. Let's, I mean, insurance agents will bring this up to you. They'll ask you, you know, are you, uh, are you looking for uh, a slow, uh, steady growth? Okay, are you looking for a moderate uh, pace growth? Uh, are you looking for something? You know, the last one is aggressive. Okay, so not sure what about you, but could, if you could give me some comment down beneath this video tell me are you in for slow steady growth are you in for moderate pace growth are you here for aggressive growth okay so this is uh, this is going to help determine you so uh, give me your answer below and you may also want to uh, write it down on a piece of paper somewhere or what because uh, this is going to help you find what style suits you best uh, I'm going to be basically talking about different aspects to help you understand yourself better so that you can come up with an ideal money management plan. Um, in fact, not just a money management plan, but you know a strategy to go with that money management plan as well. So let's bring on the next slide and um, I'm just going to copy this so I'm getting hiccups of now at all times. All right. So when you start with, um, you know, slow moderate or aggressive can i see your answers right now you guys probably have that in the in the uh, you know you already commented uh if you haven't done so just comment right now beneath this video so i know what your risk profile is and you know after you know what is uh you know what is your risk profile then uh the thing the next question the next question i have for you is like how will you like to see your account growth okay so once again this is a multiple choice question um, how would you like to see your account growth do you want this to uh, this can happen in a couple of ways so I want to illustrate to you uh, do you want uh, do you want let's say an even growth um, how to say okay the word should be a smooth all right, smooth equity uh, growth curve, or are you looking for, you know, uh, I would say it is um, is an increasing curve, is an increasing with fluctuations. I'm gonna go into what these are in a little bit. Uh, on on you know my I have I have this Photoshop open right now I'll get into that a little bit and show you what that is okay uh, are you looking uh, okay basically I think it's just two things it's really down to uh, are you looking for smooth equity growth are you looking for increases with fluctuations and then uh, when it comes to fluctuations it it then again depends on like uh, you know are you able to accept uh, little fluctuations or do you prefer to see lots of fluctuations okay and then this again would go further down like uh, drill down one more level as well uh, if you're talking about fluctuations uh, what size of fluctuations okay so this is going to help uh, you determine what kind of money management suits you 
for your binary trading and at the same time you know it can help me recommend you or rather help you through this exercise of this video find you uh, a way of trading that suits you best okay so uh, without further ado let's bring on some drawing okay so I'm gonna be drawing a couple of different ways and uh, let's see. okay this is black gray okay gray is fine uh, we'll put a layer over here and uh, this sort of pixel size of five I think five five is good all right so first of all we have the first of all we have the you know a smooth equity growth curve so let's say this is gonna be that we have gonna have a vertical axis and this I'm gonna have a horizontal axis as well and this vertical axis is gonna be uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like this one over here is going to be let's say time okay this is going to be uh, okay this is going to be um, account account size okay and then we're going to have another axis over here and this is going to be time all right so and with the passing of time uh, how do you want how do you want your account to be like so now we're going to just I'm just going to um, Gonna lay on this one, and you can I'll start drawing this for you. So let's say if you want a smooth curve, we're looking at like that's that's smooth. So this is this is what you know to be a smooth equity growth. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna title this one smooth. All right, and now I'm gonna do another one, and in this case, let's look at an account with what? With increase with fluctuations, okay? So this is what you're probably going to see, okay? Sometimes it even goes quite flat, and sometimes it goes up a lot, sometimes it comes down, and it goes, you know, it does stuff like that, okay? So this is what I mean as account growth with fluctuations. Uh, and if I would tell you a little bit of a story about what I see over here. Uh, I mean, there are similarities and differences. Um, and I also want to tell you, like, um, you know, yeah, let's just start with this one, okay? So this is probably like um, you trading. Maybe you won three, you lost two, you won, you won four, you lost three. Um, you, lo you won three, you lost three. And then suddenly you get a winning streak of eight, you lose three or four. You get the picture. And then one day, the method that you do just doesn't work. And then you probably went on to demo. Uh, in fact, this part, I, I might even I may even shift this. So I'm, this is what I'm gonna do. So sometimes you go on demo because somehow that strategy that you've been doing that's been working so well for a period of time you know it just it just um, you know uh, doesn't work the way you expect okay it doesn't work the way you expect and you went on demo you try figuring some stuff out and then later on it's like after you gain some confidence you went on the demo and then you you tried trading and then your demo account grew like double and it's like hey I'm ready for the real deal and then when you come back in huh the first thing that happens is that maybe it goes against you and you're wondering, you know, what didn't work? And maybe there could be a little bit of a space here as well. So to make this a little bit more realistic, uh, I'm going to basically just select this section right here. And I'm going to move this out a little bit. And this happened to me, and this happens to me, uh, you know, this happens to me like from time to time. And so it goes against me and then I take some time in between. This is actually like a break time. And I'm wondering, you know, uh, what am I doing wrong? Uh, why ain't it working out? So... Um, and then suddenly when I get everything sorted out, I get back in the game again and then boom, you know, I'm off to it. I'm, I'm off to some nice figures uh, And then it comes down against me. I get a nice winning streak get some and then I get up again get some and sometimes it could also be because you know, like sometimes we uh, Started to we, we start to place bigger trades uh, no, Sorry smaller trades in the beginning and as we get more confident uh, you know, we we Using one uh, bigger trade, we erased, you know, like 50% of the gain that we got over five, six trades. And it's like, oh shit. And then you're thinking, yeah, that can't be right. And that, you go, you go back in the same trade size, 
uh, a little bit more perhaps and then it goes up so this is how you get this is how you get your equity fluctuation I mean that's quite a bit of a story isn't it uh, this I would say that you know if you're looking at this uh, this basically happens you know for I would say this is like a story um, of uh, this is a story of a true trader okay if if, if this if this um, if this sounds like exciting to you I know it's not it's not something everyone wants to have and it's not something everyone out there it's not something that is is for everyone out there because the thing is this you know like um, I, I I cannot probably say this enough but when when I draw this diagram to you I mean how do you feel about this give your comments below all right um, this is something that is very real happens to a lot of people is like you know that is if this is uh, if you're okay for for these kind of things uh, honestly this kind of trader will get the biggest payout because you know I'm gonna show you what happens okay I'm gonna show you what happens right here just by expanding things over here let me increase the size and say like all right so now we have a bigger bigger drawing canvas because um, and you know what I'm gonna increase the canvas uh, a little bit more as well I want to give it like more height uh, let's like that and I'm gonna give it yeah, a little bit more space too. How about like that? Okay, so uh, now we have a fairly uh, big diagram and What's gonna happen is that I'm, I'm gonna continue telling the story. Okay, so uh, okay, Where is all my layers? I think it's this one. Yeah, this is the Trader, but this is the uh, fluctuations. Wrong spelling, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so what happens is that at this point, you know, you're probably wondering, hey, you know, I can do this. Uh, I just need to get sorted out my money management. I need to sort out my trading sizes. And if I put in everything the right way, what I can do is that, you know, I can go like, whoa, 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 whoa. And, 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 and this is where you really take off. This is where you actually get to your hyperdrive. And, and I could even. I could even possibly shrink, you know, the sh the whole the whole thing uh, that I've drawn right here in this in this picture right here, uh, you know, because you know once everything falls into place, uh, you know, ever had those occasions when you've been stuck in a rut and then let's say for a very long period of time, your account still stays stagnant a certain amount, but suddenly something clicks in your head, something clicks, and then you know, like um, you know, it, I mean, this literally the sky's the limit and if you look in terms of percent okay you could be stuck for like three months six months not actually making much gain i mean like let's say you started here maybe you're at um you're like 1000 i know i really should have just type this out you start at 1000 and then you know after three months like you know like heck and back at 1000 you know this could be you know like a yeah, once again, I really could have typed that out. Um, so after three months, you know, like, isn't that disappointing? You're back where you started, just a little bit of a positive. Actually, after three months, if you're a thousand one, that's not all bad at all. But, I mean, you know that you've been up to, you've probably been up to at a certain point, maybe even hit like 3K. So that's, that's actually quite awesome. But unfortunately, because of some mistakes and, uh, you know something maybe something didn't click and then you know your account just went back down and then after that um, you know um, when things work out here's the thing you know in this span of time I don't really consider that as wasting time um, like because by this time you understand what's going on and by 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 this time okay by this time uh, you have gained you know a fairly decent mastery um, you know, I would say this is like a, yeah, this is literally a mastery at this point of a skill, and you know this this could come in at I don't know this would come in at about maybe for some of you it comes really early it comes at four months, uh, for some of you it comes at it comes at like uh, it could come at like one year, uh, it could come at like five years. I mean, for me, I've been teaching binary, I've had ups and downs, and this is like my fifth year doing it. And like sometimes I still feel like I've gone retarded in my trading, but then again, when things work, it really does. Uh, ever looked at the video that I've done in the past where 
in half an hour, I actually take in the 23 minutes I take in an account, it's a demo account though, uh, from 1,000 to 33,000 in 33 minutes. And um, you know, a student of mine uh, actually went to the concert, wrote the idea, uh, you know, didn't play such of a risk, but compounded to a fairly big extent as well. And within two days, actually taken 5K to 55K. And, um, you know, what's exciting is that, let's say for someone who's started out at 1,000, and after three months, after three months, you know, he may be back at 1,001. But then again, you know, after the right tweaks in the next one month, regain all that without excessive risk. Uh, there are periodic drawdowns, but these drawdowns, well, it's all within reason and these drawdowns let's say from here to here we could possibly only we could have something uh i would say sometimes when we have like uh, these kind of drawdowns like from here to here it could just be as little as you know it could just be like a three to five percent it could be just three to five percent but then when you get it it you get it you know when you get it it just goes up and you know let's say uh this could even be this could even be um, when you get to that point, you know, it, you never know. Um, this could be this could be your 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 four point five month. It could it could be four point five month. Uh, it could be you know one year. Uh, it could be two. It could be two years. But if you've taken the time to understand and you've uh, get able to appreciate all the fluctuations, then you know. Wow, this is when you get you get, you can probably this is where you actually see like uh the the big the, the big stuff. This is you know your your twenty uh this is this is your twenty times okay and twenty times is what twenty times is like two hundred thousand percent growth and and that's insane. Um, this is the story of a true trader and 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 uh, I've done that I've done it many times in the past and I like to reset trying things over and over again just to keep things real. Now let's get back to that because um, I've actually talked a lot about fluctuations, talked about you know um, smooth growth curve, and I under I perfectly understand that you know for some of you you just want the smooth curve, some of you you just want um, you you don't want any of that. What you really want is just this, okay? Uh, but the thing is that for this smooth curve. Um, you know how how are you going to achieve it? Uh, you know a smooth curve. It really is just a matter of how small the fluctuations really are, because uh, to to say that there's not going to be any fluctuations, uh, it's not is not possible. And how many of you, how many of you out there have actually traded uh, forex before? Okay, if you have traded forex before, and you're probably familiar with a Martingale concept. Uh, because a, a lot of grid systems um, operate on a morning premise and what's going to happen is that I mean this is your account growth all right uh, and then there's going also going to be an equity chart the equity chart is going to be very different from your account growth and if you if you look at my FX book uh, you can see plenty of this all the time uh, you can just eat, look up any morning system and what you're going to see right is that in order for it to get this smooth uh, account curve, the equity curve is probably going to look like... Like that, right? Alright, and obviously because there's so many small transactions okay then you know it's if you look uh, took a small look it's actually really like this all right it's like that this is what it's like okay so if this is what you're looking at if this is actually if this is you know what you're looking at uh this is not anything about true trader or what this is this is actually um more like a morning girl system so uh no, that brings me to my next slide. So let's say, okay, once again, if you want something smooth, uh, you're looking at like a, a small sticks with with probably mining gills on um, losses. Okay, 
and you need a really good way of you need a really good mathematical system in order to be successful with that I don't mean to doing a mathematical margil of like 2468 you know uh, 1632 64 because you realize that if you did that with binary because of the payouts you're gonna get unprofitable from the third level and on so that doesn't work you have something you need something to be that doesn't make you overexposed um, you need it to be properly calculated so I have another video on that you just stay keep your eyes peeled on that one uh, there's another video that I've heavily edited for compliance reasons uh, but it's what you need to know about that but look out for that it's gonna come on this channel real soon and then um, if you're looking at um, if you're looking at like uh, you know growth with fluctuations then this you're, you're definitely looking at the training style that is like a fixed risk okay fixed risk or even like a, or even like compounded risk and then of course there's another kind of growth which you know it's obviously the all or nothing, which is something that I, I don't recommend. Uh, this is something which means that, let's say, if you hit, if you watch my video about like taking a thousand to thirty three thousand within a span of 25 minutes, I was basically reinvesting everything back into the account. Um, so you need to have a super, super good method in order to do that. Uh, even if you reinvested 50%, I mean, there, uh, you want to be able to sustain. Um, once again, you need super time money management to to cope with that. Okay, so uh, you know some people do this starting at like twenty bucks and then they just just keep rolling it so that you know they feel like you know it's like a game, right? Uh, but to do an all or nothing with with like uh, hundreds or even thousand dollars, uh, okay, hundreds it depends. It depends on you, but for thousands, I would say that's just plain irresponsible. Okay, there's just so many other things you can do with it and that's essentially like gambling so I, that's what that's what I wouldn't recommend uh, on a hindsight like today I did super super well in my own trading uh, with the win rates that I got if I had done bigger stakes you know I would have like doubled my account today so um, what kind of money management suits you um, like uh, this is also because you know whatever whatever you pick okay uh, you need to pair it with the right strategy. So, for example, if you're looking at something smooth, like a smooth straight line, that's definitely a martingale system. Uh, a martingale system can also be an exponential one. Uh, the only thing is that, you know, if you don't do a very good sizing, you're just going to expose yourself to unnecessary risk. Uh, growth and fluctuations, okay? I would say that uh, the downside to this I mean, this sounds great, but the downside to it, is there a downside? Yes, there is. The downside is that certain days on the markets, uh, for whatever reason, like I said, you know, for whatever reason, uh, sometimes they would, it just wouldn't always make sense. Uh, and, and you know, there's, there's no explanation for that. I'm just going to see which one is the one that I'm trying to erase this. Oops, not that layer. There you go. Alright, so sometimes there's just no reason as to why a method suddenly doesn't work. Uh, I mean, there, like I said, there are times when the market just goes out of sync with the method, and it's possible. So are you okay with that? Now, the next thing is that, you know, like I said, it, like uh, the size of the fluctuations, the size of the fluctuations, uh, what can you accept? All right, uh, are you able to see your account? Uh, let's look at this one here. Okay, if you are at like 2% per trade and you did a lot of trades, uh, then this is going to get you to, this is going to get your account up quite, uh, this is going to get you know, moderately fast. I won't say it's very fast, but it's not going to get your account anywhere as fast as someone doing 5%, 10% per trade. But at the same time, uh, doing five or ten percent per trade that also means that you know if uh you know a, a good a good streak is just so important for you to get your account up because if you run into a time when nothing's working you can work yourself really low really really fast so that's something that you want to think about as well now um 
I want to bring, uh, bring this to a new issue, okay? How large should I trade, okay? This, this really depends, depends on you, okay? Uh, how much equity fluctuation is okay? And, you know, like, uh, when is the next time that market is going to be out of sync with uh, the methods I know, okay? Everyone has a couple of repertoire, and uh, for me, I like to go between, like, two or three methods to get to be able to trade markets, whether it's flat, uh, whether it's, like, super spiky, whether it's, like, full of consolidation and breakouts. Uh, but then again, I don't know when's the next time the market's going to be out of sync. And what if you go out of sync with all the methods at the same time? And um, I've done that in the past where, you know, I've actually seen situations where I've been trading really aggressively and within half an hour, uh, you know, like sometimes it's easy to set yourself like a, a, a so-called a stop loss. A stop loss meaning like, you know, after X amount of losses today, I'm, I'm going to stop. But I want to tell you one thing honestly from experience is that it never ever works out the way you want. Because sometimes when you lose a bunch of trades and you know, ego, pride, all these kind of things just kick in and it, it makes you uh, it makes you just feel so strongly that you know like how could I even allow that to happen? Uh, how could I possibly you know let uh, lose a trade like that? How is that even possible? You know, I'm I don't believe, I don't believe I cannot do this, and you know I I I, I uh, there must be some way that I can win this, and then you know because of that you roll with that emotion, and then it consumes you, and then you know within, within um, you know the first half an hour where you probably tick like a three losses and you extend that three loss to like seven loss, and by the time you're losing seven. You're like shit. I've I've lost so much already, that the only way to get this back on track is for me to go big, and then you go unrealistically big. And if that sounds like you, just comment beneath this video because this is something that happens to just about everyone. And if people say that you know, anyone who does that is just stupid. Well, I mean, I mean, be honest with yourselves. I urge you to be honest with yourselves because, um, you know, this is something. I mean, if you don't wish to say yes, that's me. Just, uh, you know, that's fine. If this is something that I wish to just communicate with you, and your own acceptance and confirmation of this fact is going to help you become a better trader. Um, so, um, that is that is one important point because this can destruct you, and like uh, how uh, much equity fluctuation can you really manage okay or really withstand seeing all right are you able to say today we okay let's say if all this time we've been trading two percent it's been going great you thought that hey for the probability of the wins I'm getting I'm getting 70% I'm getting 75%, I'm getting 80%. And based on this, no martingales, fixed size, and I'm making money. You know, I think I could scale this and take this to 5 or 10. Okay? So, there is no real problem with trading at a bigger amount. But the thing is, is that can you witness that happening to your account? Okay? Over the... It, over the passing of time, any amount of fluctuation in your account will be relatively small over the passing of time. Because if you have big uh, trade stakes, let's say like 5%, 10%, and you can pull it off with a consistent 70-80% winning rate, over time, your account would have grown very, a lot very fast as well. And, you know, when looking back on the earlier days, you're gonna think, you know, with okay, with I would say, uh, mindset tip, okay, with every winning trade passed, you will think less 
and think smaller. Uh, think less of the fluctuations that have happened and they will eventually appear really small in the larger scale of a grossly increasing account. All right. So with every trade passed, you will think less of it. Like right now, it can seem very big. But with the passing of time, okay, with the passing of time, uh, I could just make that seem relatively small and insignificant. Okay, so over time, if you're doing this for a, like, uh, you know, days, months, weeks, eventually it doesn't seem like anything at all. But upfront, can you take it? So how do you know, uh, like how do you know if you can take it or not? Okay, uh, how do you know if you can take it? All right. So whatever system you've you've uh, you have tested, or rather you have asked yourself, and based on what I've mentioned, okay, are you looking for? Uh, Oh, we'll see. Are you looking for a smooth equity curve? Are you looking for increase in fluctuations? And whatever your choice, it could be smooth, it could be increase in fluctuations, whatever your choice is, um, you know, how do you know you can take it? This is super simple, that one. All right. If not, try with small investment before scaling up okay so uh, there are a bunch of brokers that I recommend and the, at, at this point of time my top three recommendations you know would be um, this the binary lab on that such IQ option that's a link to open an IQ option account with the binary lab and my number two uh, recommendation would be Binomo. Okay, Binomo is very similar to uh, IQ option. However, they are actually accepting people in some countries that IQ option does not accept and vice versa as well. Um, my number three recommendation for those of you who are inside the United States and Canada, if you find that you cannot join the other brokers, I have good news for you because this broker, Marcus Will, uh, they accept people in the United States and Canada, and on top of that, they've also uh, they've also just changed their interface, and I believe the payouts have been tweaked a little bit as well. Uh, what is cool about all of these three brokers that I mentioned is that all these brokers, um, you know, all these allow you know, one dollar minimum trades, and that's just brilliant. Okay, if you wanna, whether it's demo or live, you you wanna test your real feelings and how this is and by the way uh, the reason why I'm putting these links up over here is because I mean like for this video up to this point of time this made sense uh, if you feel this, uh, this helped you and it's actually help, going to help you shape the way you trade uh, you know show me some appreciation by using these broker links uh, I do get paid by these brokers uh, and and you know this is your way uh, that you can actually you know give me a little thank you uh, for putting together these resources. All right, and uh, I want to give you another recommendation. This is number four. For those people here in Australia, uh, a lot of you want something regulated, and this broker here, their minimum trade is like a minimum $10 trade, okay? And, you know, it is a great platform. They're ASIC regulated, uh, but unfortunately, it's just it's $10 minimum trades. So just make sure that you know that and and uh, these are my four recommendations. So check out these ones, and I'm gonna be putting these links in the video description as well, so that you can actually just click and join them. Uh, now, try it out, and what is a reasonable amount of time? Okay, uh, let's do a new slide. What is a reasonable test? Okay, 
a reasonable test I would say is like um, you know one week okay don't base your decisions on anything made within a day so you want to go through one whole week and let's say uh, for these brokers that I have here these two IQ and Binomo will both have OTC so you can trade OTC on the weekends too and if you really want to get a lot of exposure in the markets to try every condition and this is going to give you uh, I mean one week is going to be reasonable but of course let's say if you had more time two weeks is a very reasonable test and some of the things that you want to you want to test out is that you want to see that you know like uh, uh, is this gain um, something I like and I stomach the rise and falls. Okay, um, how is my emotional state when making trades at this level? Okay, so when you're making these trades, when it's a demo, or let's say if you decide to try, you know, I actually recommend trying it. Uh, live even if it's not a lot okay uh, because you know your feeling with real money and with demo is going to be very different you can try it on demo but again try it on live because when it's real money uh, it don't matter if you're rich or anything you know because you can be very rich uh, but sometimes uh, the f okay the fact of you uh, being rich is probably something to do with you've making You've been making a lot of good decisions in your life and you've done a couple of things in your life really well and that tells me that you're probably someone who is uh, you know uh, you have a high expectation of yourself and I'm that kind of person too so when I get losses I tend to just get very upset I tend to ask myself why because I believe that I can do better and uh, for me, even when the account is small or big, it has the same uh, effect on me. Because sometimes when I lose on my small account, like right now I trade on IQ, this is actually a small, a much smaller account than what I used to trade because I'm part of a challenge in growing this from 1K to 10K. Um, in the past, I've taken accounts from 30K to like seven figures. And for a long period of time, I've been trading accounts with six figures in the account. Um, and with six figures in the account, um, going to a smaller account I still feel as bad when I lose because I'm thinking that if I had lost uh, on this smaller one how much would I lost on my bigger one sometimes and you know how am I managing my money I it still gets to me so how's your emotional state um, is, is the game something you can like uh, is, is it, can you stomach the rise and falls and that would be something that's actually very realistic. That's something what I recommend that you should do. And this is going to help you find, you know, is it something you should do? You know, do you like it? Can you, can you maintain this? Um, and then I recommend, okay, that, you know, keep your methodology consistent. Restart your demo whenever changing a method. Okay. Uh, doing concurrent tests or money management tests will only get you confused. Okay. So this is my advice for you and uh, when you do it this way you're gonna you're gonna feel uh, that okay you know um, I'm probably better off going for position I'm or well, let's say I'm better off going for less position but more margin for error so uh, at the end of the day uh, your findings you're going to either lean towards one of these two categories. And if you feel that you already have an inkling to either of these ones, write them down beneath this video. And by the way, if this has been helping you so far, 
please comment beneath this video as well. I want to hear from you. So, uh, all right, finally, I want to give you some numbers, okay? So, I want to give you some easy goals to shoot for because, you know, we, I, I don't really, uh, like, um, some of you may be wondering, you know, can I really do a lot of trades in a week? Um, what I want to show you is just give you some simulations. Would that be okay? Now, uh, I want to do assumption, okay? Assumption, if you use any of these brokers that I've mentioned, that just now I mentioned, like this one, okay, this, this, uh, they give fairly decent rates, except for Mark as well. The US and Canada, well, you just have to use that, but um, IQ, Binomo, Hilo, their rates are all really good. Now, the assumption is you're getting about 85% payout on winning trade prediction. Okay. Um, with that, let's just do some math. Okay. Um, would it be fair to say that, let's say, in a course of a week, okay, let's aim for 25 net trades goal. Net trades means that, you know, like, let's clarify that, okay, wins minus loss. Total wins minus total loss. Uh, this is your net wins, the 25 net trades goal. Now, um, how about uh, and so if you're at one percent, you're looking at something like at the end of one week. Okay, so how do you do this? So you just draw on a piece of paper, or you just mark out. You know, like one, two, like. I'm not sure if you know, but you know, like in Asia, in Asia we have a way of drawing sometimes, and it goes like one, two, three, four, is it five? You know, one, two, three, four, five. So that's one way you can track it. And by the time you've done five of these, that's twenty-five net, okay, in the course of a week. So just aim to do twenty-five net. And let's say if you make a loss. Um, you know, you come back in the next session, you break it even, you make some net, and so 1%, 25 net, depending on, because obviously, like I said, for let's say if your overall win is, uh, if your, your total number of loss trades, when you lose, you lose, you lose like 50% uh, more than when you win. Let's say when you're winning at 85, when you lose, you lose 100. So if you're winning 25%, uh, I mean, we're in 25 net trades and at 1% risk per trade, you're probably going to make something around just, just a rough number 90% account growth in one week. So that's about, and this is just very rough numbers, okay? Uh, let's look at that's one month, 38, 76, 76 cent per month. Is that bad? It's not bad at all, it's good. Uh, 2%. You're looking at like 38% account growth in a week. And 5%, you're looking at, it's just times 5. You're looking at, wow, like, uh, is that 85? The ninety-five, the ninety-five. And that's a freaking uh one ninety that's three hundred and eighty percent a month. And heck, you know, if you did five percent uh what if if you were just aiming for this target, if you had five percent, you probably are just, uh, you know, you could just do like um, uh, you know, six net at five percent, 
and you're already you're already getting around like 22 to 20 25 percent per week that's six trades in a whole week all right so with is is that like a aha for you if that's an aha moment write it beneath this video because i want to know uh, this is just so powerful because if you think about it and think of the math of what I'm sharing with you right now, uh, then you could be just taking like, you know, um, you know, rather than going in and out of the markets, would it be okay for you to just go a little bit bigger, 5%, and just aim for like one net per day, okay? And on one of the days in a week, just two net, and you can grow your account by about you know 100% in a whole month is that a breakthrough or not okay so I hope this uh, video finds you well and you know if this has made sense to you once again I would like your support to um, you know to actually encourage me to make more of these content uh, these are my links to open new broker accounts and if you're trying demo or live you use these links right here and you know I'll be very thankful for you. And uh, in the meantime, you know, keep stay tuned to my channel. I have a lot of great content for you. And if this has been the most impactful video that you've watched on my channel so far, comment beneath this video. I'm looking forward to hearing your feedback. Bye for now. Let's do more from the buying that.